am just shaking the hornet's nest with this question, aren't I? I literally just woke up and this question just popped into my head. Usually I get my video ideas while I'm in the shower. Hello and welcome. For those of you who don't know or are new here, hi, my name is DBC, a cartoon reviewer whose sanity is still being held in question. So I know I promised no more Pink Diamond related videos and I stuck to it. This isn't Pink Diamond related, it's Rose Quartz. <laughs> now, on a more serious note, this video isn't about the Pink Diamond reveal. Thank God. It's more about something that was presented to me after a statement I made in my last Steven Universe video. I made mention of how people were unable to convert to Colin Rose Quartz by her real name, Pink Diamond. And a lot of people informed me that the reason why they don't call Pink Diamond Rose Quartz is because she wanted to be referred to as Rose. And that got me thinking. I always saw Pink having given up her form as a diamond for the earth. Not as her not feeling like herself as a diamond, therefore turning into Rose to be free. This actually adds another layer of complexity to her. Uh, I love my diamond so much. Now, I have a vague memory of there once being a video about Lars being or not being transgender. I didn't get to watch the video because it got deleted, but I remember the community was in an uproar about it. Which makes me skittish because I'm a female African Muslim from a third world country. I cannot do this topic enough justice. I mean, our first ever openly gay man revealed himself in my country last year and swiftly got jailed. Although the police say it wasn't because of the reveal. He's now released. I think. I, I honestly don't care. His name is Bob Risky if you want to research for yourself. If anything, he's closer to being transgender than gay. Wait. Can transgender people even be gay? Doesn't that just make them straight? Oh wait. Rose Quartz could be a metaphor for being transgender because some believe that she never felt like a diamond or felt she couldn't be her true self because of the restrictions that came with being a diamond. She wanted true freedom from what she was born to be and being a Rose Quartz was that freedom. Now again, I need to preface that I am probably the worst person to cover this topic because I am horribly ignorant to this topic and I can only relay what it is that I have been informed. So please, if you can better cover this, I encourage you to make a video yourself about it. I don't mind. So from my feeble knowledge that I get on Twitter, a lot of people say being transgender stems from a mental illness where a person believes that they are different from the sex they are born in must be from irregular chemical and wave patterns in the brain that how can you just wake up and say you are a dude or say you are a girl that there must be something wrong with you now i find that cruelly harsh and brutal a definition so i checked google and it says transgender people are those who have a gender identity or gender expression that differs from their assigned sex transgender people are sometimes called transsexual if they desire medical assistance to transition from one sex to another Okay, that gives me a more humane definition and understanding because the closest I've ever come to understanding transgenders is Caitlyn Jenner. But here's the thing, to be transgender is to change your sexual identity, correct? But Rose is still a female. Gems identify as women, she slash her. So pink turning into Rose doesn't change that, but pink changed gem species from our diamond to a quartz. So is that like a human to a cat? Or a tiger to a cat? Human to monkey, wolf to dog. Oh god, I am not taking this topic as seriously as I should be. We know Rebecca Sugar for her ways of subtly sneaking in LGBTQ subjects into her show, Ruby and Sapphire, and some background characters. So having Rose change gem species but not gender identity might be another subtle way of doing that. We never once see Rose envy her from a position or wanting to go back. But then again, why transform into a gem species that you know will be doomed by association? Is that why we see Rose Quartz gems bubbled? Did she do it to spare them or are they just empty husks? I mean, of all the gems you could become to be free, why a Rose Quartz? Maybe she wanted to be one of her creations? If she made them, maybe it's because she wanted to be them. And so she did. Now, I'd be a fool not to expect hate on this video from people saying, All Pink did was flip her gemstone. She didn't change species. She's still a diamond. Well, isn't that the same for humans? 
Just cause a dude cuts his dick off or tucks it back in doesn't stop him from being a dude. But if he identifies as a she, doesn't it make that so? Them disregarding the fact that God knows best. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my Muslim is showing. So if Big Diamond flips her gem and permanently changes her form, which we know she did after getting poofed by Pearl, does that not then make her a rose quartz? She may not have been born one, but she identified as such. We also see this because in her palanquin, she was in her rose quartz form. Despite if any gem had walked in and seen her as such would have caused problems. So that could also be evidence to her just being more comfortable as a rose quartz than a diamond. Maybe she never wanted to be a diamond in the first place. Being born as such and being restricted as such made her just hate the position or just not having the freedom to be and do whatever you want made her envy it. Cause as she said in the past, you pop out of the ground knowing what you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to do. Same thing as if you're born a chick or if you're born a dude. But her being born a diamond, maybe then she realized that she just didn't want to be a diamond. This makes me reconsider a lot of things because now I feel bad because I want to solely refer to her as pink diamond. Or maybe I'm overthinking this as per usual and none of this is even close to the truth and or makes sense. So I pass this discussion off to you, my dear sweet lovely viruses. Let's talk in the comment section. Tell me your own thoughts on the matter. Rose quartz, a metaphor for freedom, individuality, and now the transgendered? I'd love to know all your thoughts in the comments section below. But with that being said, I'm gonna end this video here. This might be my last Steven Universe related video in a while because I have to focus on other videos about channel related stuff, miraculous stuff, and Ramadan q and But if another random idea hits me, you can be sure I'll get it out to you ASAP. But with that being said, thanks your viruses so much for clicking to watch. Please do not forget to read my books on Wattpad, support me on Patreon, and follow me on goddamn Twitter. And as always, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay forever awesome. This is T V C signing out. <laughs>